Discovery can get messy. During this summer of bugs, we've talked about lots of insects, but we haven't yet covered a very important group, the true bugs belonging to order Hemiptera. Most true bugs have what are called hemilytra, or half-hard wings, like the elytra shells of the beetles. The hemilytra cover the top halves of the wings, and the membranous wings sit toward the back of the insect's body. A segment of the thorax called the scutellum separates the hemilytra. I should probably mention that when you want to pin a true bug, the pin goes through the scutellum so you don't damage the wings. Some members of hemiptera, like these tree hoppers and leaf hoppers, have wings that we say are roof-like because they hold them like the angle of a roof on a house. Hemipterans have piercing sucking mouth parts. A few are predators, but most true bugs use their mouths to pierce the stems and leaves of plants and suck out the sap. But a diet high in sugary, watery sap can be a problem for bugs like these aphids. In order to get enough of the nutrients they need, they wind up drinking a lot of extra sugar and water. So what can they do with the excess? Get rid of it, of course. Aphids secrete a syrupy liquid called honeydew in order to remove excess sugar and water from their bodies. If you think back to our episode on ants, you'll remember that some species of ants farm aphids in order to collect the sweet honeydew they produce. One of the largest and most noticeable true bugs in North America is the cicada. This is what we call a dog day cicada because they appear every year and buzz through the long, hot days of summer. But the periodical cicadas, which have bright red eyes, only appear every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species. That's a long time to wait! Some people call these insects locusts, but that name actually belongs to insects in the order Orthoptera rather than Hemiptera. Male cicadas buzz all summer long to attract females, and the noise is very loud. Remember that grasshoppers and other orthopterans use a process called stridulation to make their sounds. Not so for cicadas. Instead, cicadas vibrate a membrane called the timbal on their abdomens to make their sounds. True bugs are all around us, even in our food. Would you be surprised to know that the red food coloring in these candies came from a hemipteran? Cochineal, a red dye that is also sometimes called carmine, is made from the exoskeletons of female scale insects, true bugs in order hemiptera. Carmine is often used to dye fabrics, but can also be used in foods to produce this bright red color. When we get right down to it, insects in the order Hemiptera are truly the buggiest bugs I know. Spending some time listening to the buzz of cicadas or observing other true bugs is a great reason to go outside and get messy. Don't forget that you can post all of your entomology-related questions in the comments section below or on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I will see you next week.